everyone welcome back in this video we will see a lesson to querying data by using sim and wmi so in this lesson um, you know we will be using both the sim and uh, wmi commands to query the uh, repository since uh, microsoft uh, transitioning from uh, using the wmi commands to uh, only uh, primarily using uh, sim commands because uh, WMA commands is the uh, traditional way and uh, sim is the newer one which will uh, you know use the uh, WSMAN protocol so uh, in this lesson we will see these following topics uh, like uh, how to write a command that lists uh, you know all the available namespaces and uh, then we'll see how to retrieve a list of classes from the namespaces and then we'll see uh, how to query instances of a specified class and then uh, we'll see how to connect to a remote computers by using sim or the wmi then finally we'll see how to create and manage the sim session so there will be a lab session for this lesson as well that we will see it in a separate video So first we'll see listing namespaces uh, we can use uh, you know powershell to list all the namespaces on either the local computer or in the remote computer so uh, to list the namespaces we can uh, use the following command for example let me just uh, run this command so for using the sim method we can um, use this command get dash sim instance and uh, specify the namespace so first uh, we will just uh, look for the root level namespace and uh, specify the class name which will be namespace so make sure uh, it's a double underscore before the namespace so these are all the uh, you know the namespace in the uh, sim so uh, using wmi we can um, you know use this following command get dash wmi object and uh, list namespace root so these are all the namespaces to retrieve all the namespaces recursively using wmi object we can you know use this following command get dash wmi object namespace root list recurs and from there we can select the namespace so generally uh, this command uh, will take you know several minutes to produce a complete uh, list of namespaces and make sure we type uh, you know double underscore before the namespace So we are seeing um, all the namespaces under the root. So uh, PowerShell also support the tab completion for the sim commands, but uh, not for the WMI commands. So in this module, uh, you know, we will be primarily uh, using the uh, root slash um, sim b2 namespace because uh, uh, this one you know will be the default uh, namespace and uh, which is the uh, you know bigger namespace as well so you may wonder uh, what this namespace uh, you know contain so uh, this namespace includes all the classes which are related to the uh, windows operating system and uh, our computer hardware 
so uh, this um, root slash uh, sim v2 is the default namespace so uh, we don't need to you know uh, manually or you know specifically specify this namespace when we querying the instance okay so next we'll see a listing classes So a uh, partial can list all the classes in a particular uh, namespace though it is uh, sim or WMI for example uh, to list uh, you know all the classes under the root slash uh, sim v2 namespace we can you know run the following command get dash WMI object and the namespace so now we will be specifying the root slash sim v2 namespace and list so this will list all the uh, namespaces available under uh, root slash uh, sim v2 so similarly there will be you know um, a number of uh, namespaces as we mentioned earlier you know to get all the namespace using the sim we can use the sim command get dash sim class and the namespace sim beta So this would list all the namespace, I mean the uh, classes under the uh, root slash sim v2 namespace. So as I mentioned, uh, uh, you know, sim commands uh, does support the auto completion. For example, uh, if we type get dash uh, sim, so we can you know use the um, app to you know get the uh, command completion, and uh, for example name, and to hit the on um, uh, you know the tab button to uh, auto complete the command. But uh, in the WMI. Uh, commands of uh, this uh, you know tab or auto completion will not work so basically powershell does not list uh, you know classes in any particular order so uh, to find the class name easily um, uh, we could you know maybe list all all the uh, you know classes in the alphabetical order for example, uh, if you want a class name that represent a process, but uh, if we do not know the class name, then you know we can quickly uh, sort all the uh, class name, and then we can just you know go to the P section, then we can uh, you know look at the word process. So in that way, we can you know find out the class name for the respective. Uh, uh, you know the commands or the process that we are looking for so for example how uh, we can you know run this following command using the sort get wmi object namespace will be the default namespace root slash sim veto and uh, we will sort this output by name so this will list all the you know classes in the alphabetical order
so uh, so we are looking at all the classes under this namespace root slash sim v2 and we are sorting this output with the name parameter so similarly let's look at the sim command get dash sim class and the namespace and now here we will be sort with the sim class name as the parameter so this would you know sort all the classes under this uh, you know namespace uh, in, the, in the alphabetical order and uh, if we wanted to look at the uh, you know class that represent the uh, process then we can just you know uh, scroll down and uh, go to the p section just run this without uh, more okay so here we see win 32 underscore process which represent the process So as we see, uh, you know, um, in the root slash uh, sim v2 namespace, uh, some of them will start with uh, win32 underscore and uh, some of them, you know, shows uh, sim underscore. So uh, these are, uh, you know, all these contain so uh, information uh, specific to the uh, Windows operating system and the hardware, as I mentioned earlier. So these are all start with the sim underscore and similarly for uh, msft and then win32 underscore. So uh, since uh, the uh, you know uh, repository does not include any search uh, system we can use a uh, powershell to perform a basic uh, keyword search in the repository. For example, to find all the classes in uh, root slash uh, sim v2 namespace, which having a network in the class name, we can you know use the following command. Okay, let's uh, use this command get dash sim class to search all the you know classes with the network we can use the while code and type the network and we can sort with sim class name Okay, so these were the uh, you know classes under the uh, sim v2 that contain the uh, network keyword. As you have noticed, uh, I have not mentioned the uh, namespace here because uh, by default uh, it will use the sim v2 namespace. So in case if you wanted to you know search for or look for the process. We can also use get sim class and type the word process. Then we can sort this output using the class name. So here we can see all the uh, you know classes that contain the keyword process. 
so based on this output we can you know choose the one which we need win32 process okay so that's it in this video and uh, we'll see the remaining topics in the other video thank you